Um, welcome to this SPS V session on the development of uh, databases and yeah, we also have an idea to uh, link that to the development of what we now call bio expert group. Um, the session has been mainly put together by myself and Sander and uh, on, the, on the database of the part and, and Elena Kitsch and David Packer will talk a little bit more about it and the link with the IUCN and especially the Commission on Ecosystem Management but you want to engage in these, uh, these bio expert groups. And I will, in a few minutes, explain a bit more about the context of uh, uh, this session, and then we go into the more uh, into the details. Um, Sandra and Aida Kubischewski from um, Portland University have been working together now for quite a while already on, on developing what we call the Ecosystem Service Valuation Database, not the original name, we can come up with a better one uh, during this meeting or in the future, although it does capture the essence of the database quite well, I think. Uh, and we want to make that accessible to, uh, through internet uh, in both ways, that you can take information out of it, but especially also put information into it. And that will be um, presented and discussed by Sandra and Aida. Um, then we have a presentation by Jennifer and Jonathan from Earth Economics. Uh, on, um, similar tool that they call SERPs, a simple, it sounds like very much, simple tools, an effective resource for valuing ecosystem services. And then I said to Elena and David will say a little bit more about those uh, um, biome groups, uh, YCN, uh, SEM, Commission on Ecosystem Management, and um, finally we have a scheduled presentation by Linwood. Uh, from the United States on uh, Marine Ecosystem Service Partnership, but there's much more behind it. They have also a very sophisticated database focusing on marine um, ecosystem services. And they're all quite short presentations, 10 15 minutes, so I think we should have plenty of time uh, for discussion, or maybe even some of you want to briefly come up here and, and tell us that you have a perfect uh, database that we can use and maybe merge into our own um, ideas. Um, but actually, the idea and the need for these kind of databases comes out of these global assessments, which have been mentioned a few times already yesterday and today, the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment, and especially the <coughs> first study, the Economics of Ecosystems and Biodiversity, which was focused on the <coughs> ecosystem services and their values, and of course to, uh, to make some, some uh, intelligent uh, statements about uh, the economic importance of those ecosystem services uh, need to collect data and somehow put it all together and aggregate it. So that's why, uh, especially for these type of assessments, you need uh, these uh, databases. Uh, the DZL book within the TEEP study, there are five big volumes. Yesterday you saw the one called D1 on policy making, which was edited um, by uh, uh, Patrick de Brink. Yeah? Um, uh, but underneath those uh, more um, communicative uh, volumes, there are four, uh, one for policy makers, one for uh, uh, administrators, people implementing the policy, one for the business community, and one for the general public. There is a DZO called uh, the Science Basis, and I was asked to uh, coordinate the uh, chapter one in the DZO book on setting up the framework for doing these ecological economic uh, uh, assessments. Um, as part of that exercise, we also set up a, a database to put all the information that we could find up to that point uh, together. And this is just a summary output uh, of uh, the more than 1,300 uh, data points that we collected. We used about half uh, to come up with these kind of uh, estimates of the range of values uh, for ecosystem services provided by, in this case, 10 <coughs> or 11 biomes. And you can see it's a log scale, so there's quite a, a the right margin in the, in the values between 10 and 1 million dollars per hectare a year. Especially for coral reefs, that actually makes sense. And some of those coral reefs are very remote, nobody's going there. They might have some impact on carbon sequestration, but very little on uh, other services. Where others are in the Caribbean, uh, millions of people are going there. And they really represent the value of uh, 1 million dollars per hectare per year. Um, well, we have heard this morning also you have to be really very careful with uh, using these kind of figures, but it does give you some, some feeling of the order of magnitude that we are talking about. 
Um, uh, we, we hope actually because there are a few of these initiatives uh, uh, around and we have quite a few people here in the audience and, and some people will be talking about um, existing databases and um, we don't want to reinvent the wheels of basically it's through the ecosystem service partnership we want to provide uh, kind of a network where these different databases come together so people can continue uh, developing those big databases but they need to be able to talk to each other to exchange information the biggest uh, challenge, I think. Um, moving on to the second point of uh, bio groups, uh, this would be a good starting point because um, all the data that was collected, maybe by uh, Sander, um, but we had help from uh, different people uh, throughout um, the world, actually, and, and, and for each biome we had two or three people um, and one leading uh, author to put that information together and, and check the validity and so on. And we want to kind of, well, institutionalize is a, is a heavy word, but we want to have kind of a review uh, committee that looks at the data that is already in the database and especially also to help uh, get more data and then communicate with uh, people that are knowledgeable about uh, oceans, uh, coral reefs, uh, wetlands, and so on. Okay, with that, I would like to um, give the floor to the first presentation. Unless there are questions at this point, I hope the idea of the session is, is clear. Um, no questions? Looking forward to the content. Then, Sandra, you would like to start telling what we did so far with the Ecosystem Service database and, and the policy. Please.